Good morning, friends. Good morning. Welcome to Writing Sonnets with Shakespeare. I'm your friendly neighborhood Shakespeare, and I'm going to write some sonnets with you. This is our collaborative project where we uh, write something unique, something special, something silly, sometimes together. This is always a highlight of my week, and this is the last week where we're doing two in a row. So uh, I, I really hope that uh, you um, join me for both of them this morning. Um, as always, uh, for this first episode, uh, thank you to Nat21 Adventures and Paolo Gabanzo for hosting me on their Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Nat21 Adventures. If you're just stumbling across this, I hope you go and subscribe. You can also follow me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Shakespeare Proves, and my YouTube page, youtube.com slash Shakespeare Proves. The music that we're enjoying right now is provided by the Jackdaws. So thank you to them. Go uh, subscribe uh, to their channel on Spotify. Go listen to them there. And buy their albums on Apple Music. But let's get started. Um, we've got a lot to do today. So let's get creative, shall we? So here we go. Now... You might be asking yourself, Shakespeare, what is a sonnet? Why do we care? Uh, why do we want to do it? Well, a sonnet is a poem. It is a poem that follows rather particular and specific rules. And they are as follows. Well, they are, to start with, 14 lines apiece. Now, that is written in iambic pentameter. Iambic pentameter means it is 10 syllables per line. And there are three four line stanzas. Now, in those stanzas, the first line rhymes with the third line, the second line rhymes with the fourth line. So line A with line um, C, line B with line D, and so on. And you want to repeat that for all three stanzas. Um, you close it all with a rhyming couplet. And as I said, it's in iambic pentameter, which means 10 syllables per line, but you can go to 11 syllables if the need arises. So, clear as mud? Good? Yes? We're good? All right. Let's get down to it then. So, uh, what I'd like to do is have suggestions from you, the audience, in uh, what we're going to be writing about on any given day. And so far, I haven't seen anything from me, so I might just be writing solo this morning, which is fine. I can. I'm also going to go log in real quick to twitch.tv slash nat21adventures and see if uh, my system is lagging on my side in terms of the chat. So I am doing that in the meantime. And there, there's my face re really awkwardly uh, frozen. Man, my internet is not good this morning. That's for sure. Goodness gracious. And then there was an ad. Then there was an ad uh, break. Uh, so that's happening. So that's a good time. Yeah. And uh, goodness. All right. Um, let, let's take myself off of the Wi-Fi here and see if uh, that helps us out. When just using the Ethernet by itself. Okay. So it looks like um, no one has. Uh, joined the show this morning which doesn't uh, oh there's two people watching okay hooray may, one of them might be me it <laughs> uh, doesn't affect my ego at all hmm. but uh i do have uh <laughs> i do have um plans for what to do when people aren't watching so so let me see here. All right. And so there is a sonnet that uh, was suggested uh, from uh, a viewer uh, a while back. Oh, we are oh, getting some comments here. Screaming Dragon is here. And Zalani is here as well. Good morning, Zalani. Oh, thank goodness I'm not by myself. Oh, sweet baby Yoda. I'm drunk to that. 
Now, I like to write with uh, suggestions from the audience because uh, when it's all of us together, not just me, um, it's a writer's room. It's suggestions from you and that uh, I collate and pull together like I am your uh, head writer, that I'm the editor. And that's quite a bit of fun for me. And uh, it's the way I like to go. So throw your suggestions into the comments. Now, if you do not have suggestions, I do have a rather specific sonnet that I can take lead on uh, for today. And that is from just some guy in Tennessee, a uh, Twitch viewer, um, Aaron, uh, and he uh, would love to see uh, a sonnet made about crazy things that he makes for performers and for Nat 21. So he's made items for Barely Balanced and Hey Nani Nani and Nat 21. Uh, for instance, for Barely Balanced, he made a Rickroll grenade, and that's a ball with an MP3 player in it, you pull the pin, and it plays never going to give you up endlessly. For Hey Nanny Nanny, he made a transistor radio. It's an FM radio inside of a nun that has a beard. So that's pretty funny. And then for Nat 21 Adventures, he's made Banana Assassin minis, um, the Banana Assassin action figure, Julius the Mecha Orange, the Whale Shark Squid, the Head Cannon. Oh, that's hilarious. The Legion of Gnome Headquarters, a unicorn on the cob. Oh my god. And Omega 3.14, the pyramid character uh, Kitty played um, uh, as a mini. So we can do all of those uh, as we can talk about those. Um, Screaming Dragon says we could do the topic of creativity. That is a good topic to do. Yes. Uh, and I'm just looking over at my stream. I, I really need to... Uh, stop looking at uh, the actual Twitch stream because, man, my internet is crap. I'm hoping in two weeks when I do the show from Texas, and I'm just on their Wi-Fi, that it's better because this show is not brought to you by Frontier Communications. <laughs> I, I tell you that. It's, it, it's, this is crap. Okay, so I apologize. Oh, uh, well, we we carry on as we need must. So let's get down to it. Creativity, let that be our topic this morning and I'll write uh, Aaron's, just some guy's sonnet uh, solo. So um, let's start the topic of creativity and we'll bring up our magic document uh, right now. All right. And throw in your line suggestions as well. So here we go. So so it's an ode to I always do the dot 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 because I think it's funny. Creativity. Our topic for today. And down here we're going to have our candy jar. Now the candy jar, if you're wondering, is where we put lines that we like, but we don't quite know what to do with yet. And I just do that so I can have a filler space to get the bullet points started. So, all right, and I'm going to expand that so it takes up more of the page. Gonna, uh, here we go. Gonna go over there like that. Ah, oh, all right. You're just seeing me uh, adjust in real time here. <laughs> so uh, let us see. I'm going to throw my glasses on so I can also see the screen a little bit better. So bear with me here. This is my smart Shakespeare look. Mm -hmm. Hello. Smart Shakespeare looks clever today. Let's see. So David Percival is here now. Good morrow to you, sir. Uh, Screaming Dragon suggesting it's amazing what the mind can think of. That's a good line. And then Sally says, good morrow. Good morrow, friends, good morrow. So it's amazing what the mind can think of. It's amazing. It's amazing what the mind can think of. 10 syllables, good job. Let's put that into, actually, let's potentially have that be the first line. Amazing. Mind can think of. So, if this is our first line, the third the third line needs to rhyme with think of. 
Speaking of, let's also open our rhyming dictionary on here so that we can make search sure that we can go fast. All right. So David Percival is suggesting the line, arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all fun. Arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all fun. You can also, because poem can be treated as two syllables, arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all fun. I like that. Uh, I'm going to uh, make it uh, quite fun for our purposes. So, arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all Mm. Yeah. So, and let me, for anybody who's just joining us, let me uh, switch the branding on screen for a moment. There we go. That's what we're doing. In case anyone comes in and says, what are we doing? Yeah, we're writing sonnets. <laughs> All right. So what we have at the moment, it's amazing what the mind can think of. Arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all quite fun. So let's see where we go from there, shall we? All right. So. And, oh, uh, Mubart would like you, um, by the way, the Nat21 Mubart would like you to keep up with their social media adventures and announcements. Follow Nat21 Adventures on Instagram. Instagram, at Nat21 Adventures. Screaming Dragon says, take a simple idea and make it work. Take a simple idea and make it work. 11, and darker syllabic, that works well. So we're gonna stop putting these into the candy jar. All right. Just going to close that window up because it's annoying me. All right. Take a simple idea and make it work. And then it feels so good to let your mind run free. Well done, Screaming Dragon. You are on fire. It feels so good to let your mind run free. All right, I'm going to adjust, think of, make it create. I think we'll get more uh, action out of that. Um, I think that is going to serve us a little bit better. So David Percival, um, for uh, a hobby or job with did you fall in love? Oh, you know, hmm. Damn you, Sir David Percival. You you rhymed it with the original line there. So there we go. A hobby or job with which you fall in love. So a hobby or job with which you fall in love. Eleven. So a hobby. Be or job with which you fall in love. 11. Hendaka syllabic. It's all right. So, this is a Hendaka syllabic poem. Mm, we're really getting into. So, art, crafts, recipes, poems are all quite fun. 11. It's amazing what the mind can think of. You know what? Let's go Hendaka syllabic for all of it. 11 syllables, every line. Here we go. It's Quite amazing what the mind can think. Oh, no, it's so amazing because we've already used quite fun. All right. And let's go take a simple idea. So.
Hmm. Trying to work. I figure this out. There is satisfaction in the job well done. Oh, there is satisfaction in a job well done. 11, there we go, let's do it. Oh, what we have so far. It's so amazing what the mind can think of. Arts, crafts, recipes are all quite fun. A hobby or job with which you fall in love. There is satisfaction in a job well done. That is, uh, that's pretty grand, friends. Good job so far. Sally says you can even make up a very cute pun. Let's throw that into the candy jar here. Stuff, Sally. All right. Well, let's start with this line here. It feels so good to let your mind run free. It feels so good to let your mind run free. I like this. Uh, I like this line right here, uh, Sir David Percival. Be it money or pride, the rewards are great. I think that would be a f good final line for a stanza. So either stanza two or stanza three. Be it money or pride, the rewards are great. Let's move that down. So let's. So actually, let's run it in here. The two lines need to come before. Be it money. Or pride, the rewards are great. Be it money or pride, the rewards are great. 11, good. And it feels so good to let your mind run free. Uh, 10, we need to make that line an 11 for fun. It can feel so good to let your mind run free. All right. Uh, Screaming Dragon. To see the finished product can make you smile. Let's write that into the candy jar. To see the finished product can make you smile. Uh, yeah, that's um, no. I'm I, I'm not ignoring uh, the for that line of let your mind run free, change run to run it. I just it doesn't scan well. So so good suggestion though. Good suggestion. Uh, let's see. So it feels so good to let your mind run free, and then be it money. Well, pride, the rewards are great. So we need to rhyme with um, run free and great. So. Ooh, I have an idea. Sally has a great line here. Oh, those amazing line. Those are those amazing thoughts you can contemplate. Mm, let's write that down. Candy jar for the moment. Uh, 
Oh, those amazing thoughts you can contemplate. Let's make can to do. So, David Percival, seeing what your mind allows you to create. Let's throw that into the candy jar here. Seeing what your mind allows you to create. Good. And I have an idea for run free. Discovered country. There we go. So there's my line. I have one line in here so far out of eight. Let me have this one. So, <laughs> all right. Here's what we have so far stanza one with stanza two. It's so amazing what the mind can think of. Arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all quite fun. A hobby or job with which you fall in love. There is satisfaction in a job well done. It can feel so good to let your mind run free. Oh, those amazing thoughts you do contemplate. They take you to the undiscovered country, be it money or pride, the rewards are great. Ah, very, very good. I am liking this. I am liking this quite a lot. And... Uh, so David Percival uh, says so another good line here. The wonders of the world that your mind can see. Let's throw that here into the candy jar. Wonders of the world that your mind can see. There we go. Cheers to that. Today's show is brought to you by coffee. Now, anyone in particular, just the concept of coffee. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. From brain to fruition, can it be easy? Let's turn that into a question mark. I like that. All right. All right, so from brain to fruition, uh, can it be easy? I like that sounding a lot. From brain to fruition, can it be easy? Oh, we can get into an existential thing right here. What does it? Mm. Uh, Reverend, whereas my show is brought to you by coffee, the concept, uh, Reverend Tommy's is brought to you by a brand that I am not authorized to say. <laughs> Zalani says, how many odes to coffee have we written? Uh, only one official one. Uh, that was a while ago. Uh, I can find it and bring it up at some point. Mm. And... Oh, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon for the yawn. I'm, oh, let's see. All right. From brain to fruition, can it be easy? Mm, I like this. I like where this one is going. Mm. 
Oh, let's see. Oh. Let's see here. Oh, so Sally has a potential line here, expensive or not, the juices do flow. And then the Babe Grand says, hi, hi, the Babe Grand. Good to have you here. Welcome. All right. Uh, let's see, just mm, trying to work out this final, this final bit here. From brain to fruition, can that be easy? Take a simple idea and make it work. The wonders of the world that your mind can see. Something rhymes with work. All right. Mm, so working on this. Uh, All right, we're gonna do, yeah, I, yeah, I, I saw Smirk as well. I'm not sure if I like that um, particular one, Screaming Dragon. I, I was looking at that on Rhyming Dictionary. Oh, I, I have an idea here. Sir David Percival, not a bad suggestion. Having the freedom of choice is the greatest known perk. That is pretty good. I like that. I have an idea. I wanna see if, if mine can work here though. So. Ordinarily, I don't like to rhyme a word with itself. I think that is intellectually lazy, inherently. However, even Shakespeare does it occasionally. And it works in song. So I'm going to try something here. Don't hate me for it. All right. So rework with work. So let's try this. So let's see. Here. Final stanza goes, from brain to fruition, can it be easy? Take a simple idea and make it work. The wonders of the world that your mind can see, you polish and craft them, forever rework. I like that a lot. I'm also thinking that The third stanza could become our second stanza. So, so let's see what that would look like. We just move it to there. So, how it would read in its current form. 
It's so amazing what the mind can think of. Arts, crafts, recipes. Poems are all quite fun. A hobby, a job with which you fall in love. There is satisfaction in a job well done. From wine to fruition, can it be easy? Take a simple idea and make it work. The wonders of the world that your mind can see, you polish and craft them, forever rework. It can feel so good to let your mind run free. Oh, those amazing thoughts you do contemplate. They take you to the undiscovered country. Be it money or pride, the rewards are great. I am liking this. I liked the switch. Uh, so, David, uh, I, I'm glad you agree with me that the switch works better. And then Reverend Tommy says, a perfect result, just like Captain Kirk. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, you. Okay. Uh, let's come up with our final couplet, our rhyming couplet to sum up all of this. All uh, right, so that is, that line is done. Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. Oh, oh, all right. Don't hate me, everyone, but I have an idea. So this one right here. Seeing what your mind allows you to create, be it money or pride, the rewards are great. I think that would be a fantastic rhyming couplet to close things out. And we just need to come up with a new final line for the third stanza. So let's do that. All right. So... All right, and then let us have in So working on the final line for, oh, it feels so good to let your mind run free. Oh, there's amazing thoughts that you do contemplate. They take you to the undiscovered country. Here we go. All right. This could be our final bit. Here we go. Ready? It's so amazing what the mind can think of. Arts, crafts, recipes, poems are all quite fun. A hobby, a job with which you fall in love. There is satisfaction in a job well done. From brain to fruition, can it be easy? Take a simple idea and make it work. The wonders of the world that your mind can see, you polish and craft them, forever rework. It can feel so good to let your mind run free. Oh, those amazing thoughts you do contemplate. They take you to the undiscovered country. The thoughts, ideas, the dreams never abate. Seeing what your mind allows you to create, be it money or pride, the rewards are great. Ah, I, I am liking this. Just need to fix some punctuation here. 
and um, quite excited. I think we have done a great job. There we go. All right. We have created something new and exciting today, dear friends. Oh. All right, and we need a good title. Oh, so David Percival, a suggestion for the uh, final line. He says, make the last line of the third stanza be the following for 11 syllables. The thoughts, ideas, the dreams will never abate. What do I have? The, the thoughts, ideas, the dreams will never abate. That's 12. That would be 12. So. We add, we add the... Uh, we add it will, it makes it 12 syllables. The thoughts, ideas, the dreams, never abate. So that's 11 already. So good call, though. Good suggestion. <clears throat> All right. So, what is our title? a fun line, the babe ground. I like that as a, yes, ideas uh, is three, ideas. I just threw up a fourth finger, ideas. Yes. All right, the babe ground, I like that. Babe ground. That's our title. There we go. Well done, everyone. And let's create a nice font for this. If we did typewriter, it would look like that. <laughs> If we did round hand, ooh, that one's pretty. And then luminari, always a fun one. I like luminari. Yeah. So let us get this uh, um, on here. And so for a screenshot, there we go. And that looks good. I'm going to do a screenshot myself. And I will throw that up onto our. Uh, Instagram right after this. So we've done it in about 40 minutes, friends. That is a good uh, that is a good poem that we created. I am so very uh, proud of us, of all of you. And I am I'm just pleased as punch. I, I, I really am. Uh, I think that we're continually doing something fantastic and amazing here that really deserves to be um, remembered. I mean, because it's not easy to write uh, poetry. It, 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 it's not. And to write it in as basically groupthink is even harder. 
and I, uh, I think that you're all brilliant for it. Um, so thank you. Thank you for, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for, uh, thank you for, uh, making me a part of your day. And, um, going to, uh, just, uh, close things out here in a moment. And I just want to get, uh, this all, uh, ready to go. And there we go. I want to throw that up here in a moment for when we close things out. But uh, in the meantime, dear friends, uh, a couple of things to um, a couple of things to uh, go over. Uh, we have coming up this weekend a uh, rather uh, Im rather important uh, show. I I like to think um, it's called You Too. It's uh, scenes and stories that reflect. Uh, stories of abuse, uh, strength and reflection in the era of Me Too, uh, a series of vignettes um, being directed by the amazing and talented Christina Coya, she of Chaste Treasure fame as Contessa Catalina, um, written by my best friend in the entire world, um, Barrett Rhodes, and produced by me. Um, so I'm pulling together the money and putting it up into the giving it the venue. So that is going to be this Saturday. May 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be streaming on my YouTube channel, and that is youtube.com slash Shakespeare approves. Throw that up here in just a moment. Now, there are two campaigns to pay for this, one to pay the actors and one to benefit the organization that we're working with. Um, it's a nonprofit organization out of Philadelphia called Women Against Abuse. You can get uh, donation-based tickets on Eventbrite for you to support women against abuse, and I am throwing that uh, up here uh right now i'm going to find the there we are so so i'm going to put both of these uh links into the comments if you can uh support this show both support the um the organization to help prevent domestic and sexual violence and then also support the actors who are making this happen they are um, professional performers who uh and they are they are professional performers who uh, have largely been out of work for the last fifteen months, and would like uh, your support in making this art happen and having this very important conversation take place. And there will be a conversation after the show as well. Uh, talk back with the audience, and I do hope you join. If you can't join us Saturday night, it will be available to watch um, again and again. But. And do go check it out. The Indiegogo uh, link to pay the actors is now up um, in the chat. And uh, as is the uh, thing for donation-based tickets. And even if you can't watch it live, I do hope that you support it because this is a very important cause. It is free to watch. Um, tickets, again, are all donation-based. Um, tonight, I believe I'm going to be doing this. Uh, uh, tonight to switch topics a little bit. Uh, Shakespeare, shameless self-promotion happy hour. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that tonight at 5.35. Uh, we're going to go a fast one tonight, probably only 35, 40 minutes, but we're going to have fun. So do join for that. And uh, next weekend, holy smoke, we're here already. So a mere nine days from now, I'll be performing at the Scarborough Renaissance Festival down in Waxahachie, Texas. I'll be performing for five performance days, two weekends. And that includes Memorial Day, May 22nd through the 31st. So if you're down in the Texas area, if you can get to the Texas area, go join me. And then I'll be at the New Jersey Renaissance Fair in Bordentown, New Jersey, for their second and closing weekend, June 5th and 6th. Do join. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we will be back with... Uh, Shakespeare's, uh, with writing sonnets with Shakespeare in two weeks. Well, there's going to be a second one today, 10.35 a.m. on my uh, on my Facebook page. Uh, but yes, then after that, we'll be back in two weeks. Next week, I'm driving. So I don't think we're going to be able to have a guest host for that. Uh, if we are, hey, then there'll be something happening during this period. Otherwise, um, uh, thank you so very much. And I will see you soon.
But uh, in the meantime, friends, thank you so very much for joining me today. If you enjoy the show half as much as I enjoy making it, I obviously enjoy it twice as much as you do, and that's called maths. And that's whatever you feel the show is worth. A 1, a 5, a 10, for a 50, I will detail your car. No, I won't. <laughs> Throw it into my hat. And by hat, I mean buy me a cup of coffee. Go to coffee.com slash Shakespeare. That's ko-fi.com slash Shakespeare. And buy me a cuppa. Um, you can also um, you can also become a Patreon of the Arts at patreon.com slash Shakespeare. That's patreon.com slash Shakespeare. Become a Patreon of the Arts and um, get a lot of fun, silly extras, including digital editions of my comic book, Julius Caesar, Beware the Eyes of March of the Penguins, and my album, I That God, It's Me, Shakespeare. You can do that, do that at Patreon. Tears start at $3, gold away up to $30, and all ideas get the same rewards. And if you want to follow me on all the various social medias, you can do so. Facebook, I'm Shakespeare Approves. YouTube, Shakespeare Approves. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Not 21 Adventures. That is where we're watching this right now. Like and subscribe to that. Um, also, follow me on Instagram. I'm Shakespeare Dalt Approves. And TikTok, I'm the exact same thing. Shakespeare Dalt Approves. And then Twitter, Shakes Approves. But in the meantime, friends, I love you. You love me. There is mutual glorious affection. Um, Reverend Tommy, I am not going to detail your truck. It's just not going to happen. No. I mean, what I said was a lie. <laughs> um, and uh, the Babe Grand, uh, you said uh, uh, you're an artist, a musician, sometimes you're a poetry. Can I look at your poems? I uh, absolutely. Uh, send them to me on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Shakespeare Approves. But in the meantime, friends, uh, I will see you all later. I hope to see you at 10.35, about 45 minutes from now, for the next session. I love you, love me, this mutual glorious affection. And here's what we wrote. It's a beautiful thing.